What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host Eddie Wright and today we are doing sous vide prime steaks. Today I have my Nova sous vide machine and I also have some Sam's Club prime beef strip loin steak. We're going to take this, follow the normal process, put it in Ziploc bags, use a little thyme, a little bit of European butter. And using the sous vide process, we're going to see if we can deliver an amazing medium steak. So let's get to it. So here we have me removing the bags from the water bath. As you can see, there's an amazing amount of moisture still contained within the steak and outside. So we went ahead and patted those steaks dry, let them sit for a little bit, got our cast iron skillet heated up with a little bit of European butter and got ready to sear both steaks off. Being a novice to this process has most definitely opened my eyes and ears to what this process is all about. Getting to understand that it doesn't take a lot once you actually cook the protein within the water bath to get it completely finished off and seared off within a skillet makes wonders for me. I haven't been a very big, I haven't been very good at steaks, but this is helping me get up to par with steak cooking with a different technique. I'm enjoying it a lot, and I hope you enjoy it as well. Once completed in our most Food Network type of way, we took all the remaining butter, poured it out over the tops of both steaks, and just let it sit there and cure while the steaks cooled down just a little bit before we cut. And as you can see here, our finished product. Two amazing cuts of strip steak, cooked to a medium consistency using the sous vide technique. Get rid of this extra time over here on top. It's done its job. I'm gonna cut into it here and let you guys see the amazing results on the inside. As you can see, the moisture below lets you know that while the meat was just sitting and cooling, it was just still pouring out interior juices. And I cannot stress enough that this meat was not dry whatsoever once we cut into it and finally got a chance to taste the flavor profile. I'm no Google Foods, but that's an amazing cut of steak. We finished cutting it up, allowed the lady of the house to give us a taste test review, and she was very pleased. So with that, I think we have a job well done here. As always, guys, continue to like and share everything we have going on with the channel. All suggestions are welcome to the next menu item in our content list. And always remember, you too can do amazing cooking and barbecue the right way. See you next time.